first serving of John Turode. Always need to have double John Turode when he comes on the show. It's good to have you with us, John. That's and you're lovely. treating us to brunch. Well, I'm treating you to brunch. It's a, sort of one of the things I think with everybody sort of off school, how do you do a poached egg? You know, the, the whole thing, avocado has become really trendy. How do you get it to, you know, at home rather than having to go to a cafe and spend a huge amount of money? Yeah. So um, poached eggs, I think, are lovely, but they are quite an interesting little, little beast. How are they? Are we going to open those? Well, up? I'm going John, in. I'm John, going, going in. in. I, have I like mine. You're oh, mine's well perfect. done, John. This is lovely. Mine's waxy. Like Yours mine's is a little runny. runny. Yeah. There we perfect. go. So the deal is with a poached egg, it has friends and it has enemies. The friend of a poached egg is vinegar. You take boiling water or just, just rolling boil. You see that it's not boiling, boiling frantically. And you put a good two tablespoons of vinegar in the water. Never, ever put salt in it. Why? If you put salt in with a poached egg, the egg will actually disintegrate and blow apart and you won't get a perfect That's why my eggs no are so idea. terrible. <laughs> so here's the next trick. So what you want to do, because there's a lot of people worried about putting an egg into boiling water, take a tiny bit of vinegar and put it into a bowl. Yeah. And then what you do is you break the egg into the bowl with the vinegar. Now, if you understand cooking, cooking actually of anything has three things that cook it. Heat, salt, so something which is cured, yeah. and vinegar, something which is pickled. That's a cooking process. So what we're doing is really cooking the outside of the egg a little tiny bit by using this vinegar first before it goes in the water. The water's not frantically boiling, and then you just literally... Cause you is that a simmer? Or... Yeah, it's, a, it's more of a sort of slight light bubble. Right. But what happens is, when we put the egg in, if, rather than us having to worry about breaking the egg across the water and burning our fingers, you literally just take the bowl and just drop it Submerge it into it. Very and gently. And it goes in, and then that automatically wraps up. So do the same on the other side of the pot, and just watch your heat, make sure you keep it hot, and boom, and then don't touch them. You don't and need to stir them with the thing or anything? Never stir them. Don't touch them. Let them go. It's amazing how it all comes back together, isn't it? That's, it? that's what we wanted to do. So what happens is the yolk goes to the bottom, the white now needs to fold up the top. If you swirl it, all that's happening is that poor white's getting lost. Yeah. And it doesn't know where its friend is, so it's yolk. So there's how um, eggs poaching, and I'll talk about how, the way that you could do them the night before, so you don't have to worry about first thing in the morning. What? Well, in the restaurants, what we do is, if, if you're doing eggs, and say you've got a brunch and there's 300 people coming over the day, you can't poach all the eggs to order. Right. So what you do is you poach your eggs, and you poach them almost to the completely finished, yeah. drop them into ice-cold water, and you suspend them and leave them in water overnight. And that poached egg, all you do then, the ones you're eating now, weren't cooked to order. I just put them into warm water. You're and they'll joking. still have the same That's body what you had of the yolk. I just put those eggs in during the old little VT on Portugal. And they're only in there for two minutes, and that's it. Done. I feel a little bit cheated. <laughs> uh, well, no, uh, don't feel cheated. It's just actually a bit of, of a, it's a very good goes trick. On. Tell you what, though, love those yolks, lovely colours, aren't they? Aren't they brilliant? So now avocados. Right, avocados are, your yolks? are really interesting things. Oh, you have different types of avocado. Shiny skin one's called a Sharwell. The, the rough skin one's called a Hass. The Hass, I think, are far, far better to use for smashed avo because they're just easier to use. They, their shape is better. But for smashed avo, what I do is I take an avocado, yeah. take a small knife, start at the top, go around the outside of the seed. I watch keep my, egg, my eye on my poached eggs. Turned around, the, shell, the, the seed comes out. Take a knife, be careful here, don't go all the way through. And just with a knife, you can use a butter knife if you want, Go crisscross all the way through to the skin. Yeah. All the way through the skin. And the problem is all these people sort of go, oh, it takes a really long time to squash up the avocado. Well, this is the easiest way to do it. You just take it in your hand and you squash it. That's and so a now really good tip. Now you squash mm. it. You take your spoon. Good hack. And then what happens is automatically you've got what's called smashed avo. Oh, brilliant. Because you don't have to worry about it. But I'm going to mash mine a little bit more. So, John, when people go to a supermarket, I never know whether I should buy one fresh, thinking yeah. it might last for five days, or should I buy ripen at home? You know what I mean? It's Because I don't want... Obviously, I want one I can have there and then, but if I'm getting a couple, I don't know whether I should... I don't yeah. know how long they keep I know what for. you mean. Should I keep them in the fridge? Should I not? I would never keep an avocado in the fridge. They grow in warm, warm climates. And the other thing is I would do if I was going to do them is I would buy them and use them. Straight away. Putting them out somewhere. I mean, you can put them into a bag with bananas. There's the trick where you put it into a brown paper bag with a banana. A banana will ripen any fruit. Yeah. And an avocado is a fruit, so that's fine, but... But that, for me, so just buy the avocado the day you're going to eat you need it. it, or the day the day before. It doesn't yeah. really matter. But you know, it's just I think it's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. So there's your squashed avo, and what I like to do with mine is I always think that avocados and brunch sort of work together. So for me, the the, the essence of a Bloody Mary is uh, the essence of an avocado on on your breakfast is the same as a Bloody Mary. Yeah. So if you think Bloody Mary, the then heat. it always works quite nicely. 
Tabasco, which is nice and spicy. All oh, my eggs are nearly ready. Hold on. So, Tabasco. Worcester sauce. Worcester cheer, yeah. cheer, cheer, cheer sauce. I wash my hands quickly. And then our eggs now, if you look at these now coming out, have now, they've floated to the top. And as soon as they float to the top, what you do is let them cook for about another minute. Mm. And you'll see, you've got an egg here, and it's got a little bit of a tail, which is to take off. It's, it's nice and soft and a bit too soft. That's when you can keep it overnight in cold water and it will hold for you. So, I'm so should you, are the timings like it is with boiled eggs, should you go, I'm going to put that in for six minutes and put the timer on, or does it not work like that? I, with, with I, no, I sort of watch them and, and as I say, they've come to the top and if you use a big egg, it takes that little bit longer. So I just sort of, you know, I, I suppose it's, it's time of just, of, um, you, you know, knowing when you've got to pull it out. If you pull it out too early, it's going to smash on you and fall apart. It's as simple as that. So you're better off to let it cook that little bit more and if it's slightly over, Wax, I like a waxy egg. I love a waxy egg. They can like spread the yolk. I think yeah. it's a really good thing. And actually, poached eggs cold are delicious. Absolutely delicious. I just love that idea of putting it in the fridge yeah. and then it's ready for the morning. Yeah, it's great. So it's much like, quicker, yeah. Get them all done. So you don't have to worry about when your friends come over or if you wake up with a hangover and you want a poached egg. Yeah. For me, if you're going to do toast and avocado, you've got to have butter first. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of butter. I've just grilled this bread so it's nice and yes, hot. Yes, look at that. Piled across the top there. Take our avocado, which we've already done here, and here's my another little trick which I like a lot. If you take your avocado, and of course, what you want to do is your poached egg needs to sit in the middle, so you make an indentation in it. Oh, a little. So mess. that what happens is it doesn't roll off. A little bowl. Which might sound weird. Nice. Oh, a little bowl. Yeah, that's it. Now watch this. Poached egg. Poached egg. First one, absolutely perfect. On a bit of paper, roll it back on your spoon. And if you roll that back on the spoon there, that's there. And that then if you lovely. then if you do that, this one here, what you can do now is you take this one if you wanted to, and literally plunge it into cold water. I'll take that one out. Oh, and leave that. I think that's genius. And then that will hold for you for tomorrow morning. So that's fine. But Joe, take some chili flakes, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Chili flakes across the top. And then, oh, and then how, what will that be one? Will be waxy or will that be more, real runny? This let's is going to be look, runny. Let's have a look. Watch let's this. Look. You ready? Go on, yeah. go on. Okay. Here I we think go. it's going to be runny. Here we go. So we're going to do this. This is going to be perfectly runny. Look it's going to run you. across the centre of the, the plate. <gasps> there you go. Oh. 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 Perfect egg. Avocado, toast. All you need is vinegar. Don't use salt. Well, John, that was amazing. Friend, Thank you so vinegar, much. salt, enemy. That's it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks, John. More from John later. For all those details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our This Morning chefs, just head to our This Morning app and John's back later.